Thank you for um, uh, thank you to the uh, organizers. Well, I come from a rather different angle, uh, as you've noticed. The architecture has uh, been also the subject of my studies, and I uh, wrote a PhD on the 19th century architectural theory. But um, uh, well, when uh, when this opportunities came, but to speak on art nouveau interiors, I thought, wow, now it's my uh, great hour. I will be researching fantastic collections, and I know exactly where to go. Well. Um, I have to disappoint you, there are very few um, uh, Art Nouveau interiors of, uh, on photography survived in uh, Moscow, and most of them are anonymous. So what I'm going to show you is an um, array of um, um, very beautiful architecture, and very beautiful uh, um, details, decorations, interior, and what the previous speaker also um, touched on uh, in the connection of paintings and architecture and art and interior, that's very much present also in my talk. But, um, um, well, let's, um, let's depart. So we are in Moscow. And uh, when photography was first invented by Talbot and Daguerre, the first practitioners of the new art came, as they had to, from other fields. Daguerre was uh, Europe's great exponent of the diorama, which anticipated the spectacular illusions of cinema. Talbot came from a class that cultivated science at the highest level and was familiar with great pictures. Who knows the origins of age of the enigmatic Russian photographers of the Art Nouveau architecture I'm about to show you in a moment, whose visits to Moscow caused no excitement, not even a line in the newspapers. Among the, um, among the first photographers were businessmen and inventors. Others had trained in disciplines upon which the new medium dramatically improved. Naturally, many came from the mother of art of painting. Others came to, um, had declared no, no great amplitude in the visual media before photography released their gifts. Those are all among the splendid figures met, if sometimes only briefly, in this paper. Um, researching photography for a number of years, I came across to very little or none Art Nouveau interiors. Photography and architectural photography by 1900 remained hospitable to talents from elsewhere, but the decade of Art Nouveau is arguably more like photography's earliest than any in between. It hides treasures. You will not be exposed to the great photographic names in this paper, but to the great architecture. Um, I've chosen those two images of um, Einem, uh, who, was, um, uh, who was a German businessman in Moscow around 1900 and built one of the greatest uh, um, chocolate empire in Russia, uh, which still exists. And uh, by uh, just before the First World War broke down, um, he, pub, uh, uh, he released the series of postcards, uh, which he really wanted to do, but to show what the architecture future of Moscow will be look like. Uh, of course, no premonition of the uh, catastrophic events were the same year. And, uh, but what's interesting, when you look at all of the cache of 26 uh, uh, pictures, well, uh, apparently there are more, but that's what I saw. Um, none of them really depicts Art Nouveau. It's vanished. So you have all of those uh, um, really utopian visions of uh, uh, how Moscow connects with other cities, how infrastructure improved, how Art Deco arrives, how, uh, um, but uh, um, the previous, really, the uh, two decades, it's uh, been erased. But... Um, I'll stay here for a second. Um, a very recognizable language of Art Nouveau goes beyond the national. Unlike Belgium or France, the formation of Art Nouveau in Russia had no predilection or had not followed up certain social, historical, and theoretical postulates in defense of a new style. There are no enthusiasts like William Morris, who is an artist and a right socialist, and an owner of business put his energy on the altar of a new style. 
uh, Henri van der Velde architecture and artistic concepts have been favorably received by some of the new styles Russian admirer. And the group um, World of Art was one of them. We have been fed by and supported the new movement. Yet it was, was, um, it was backed up um, by the moral concepts expressed by the late work of Leo Tolstoy, who directed his word against any kind of aesthetics and saw a lot of evil in any spiritual expression except the religious and pious ones. A great deal of discussions around Tolstoy watches art is a characteristic that uh, reflects the moods in Russia around that time. Nowadays, our interest in Art Nouveau is no longer confined to a few well-known monuments. Instead, our eyes are challenged by innumerable objects, newly discovered mansions and villas sketched from France to the age of Baltics and from Barcelona to the hearts of the Russian capitals. Entire curtains and vividly embroidered staircases preserved in their Moscow mansions next to the red glazed glass and jewelry from Lalique to Tiffany's and pottery from Japan, which the Russian Empire, uh, Empire Novarish assembled at the turn of the century. They gather from everywhere accessories for their homes. The uh, lamps and chandelier, furniture, fireplaces, halls decorations, window frames and ceiling stackers. But they also insisted on continuity and harmony between interior and exterior, often commissioned the same architecture to both. Some of them found rather poignantly in the photographs of the great. The decentering um, of Russian Art Nouveau all um, away from European Art Nouveau uh, to a wider realm um, had led to a dump burst in our study of the local craftsmanship, the craftsmanship and artistry. The new Russian style had an independent character. Uh, let me just arrive where I want to be. <laughs> um, uh, I'll come back to all of this, just, uh, yeah. And, uh, um, yes. Um, um, so the neo, neo Russian style um, had an independent ca uh, character, was an organic part of the artistic consciousness at the time, a great influence uh, to the uh, Russian art novel. It went deeper in search of the roots of the Russian culture, the impulse of the artistic circles, groups, guild have played an important role in its development. Several books on the style published in Russia during the last 30 years have taken uh, their measure. Uh, they are the guide to a new world, indeed so broad to its range of reflection, of reference, that it's almost a guide to uh, fadisiacal interiors of Moscow as a whole. Art Nouveau objects and themes hold central stage, but their um, entrance make plain that Japanese, Byzantine, and the Russian folk art that inspired their neo-Russian style always had a major part in the evolution of the Russian architecture of the style modern. Um, I have chosen several objects from, um, um, now let's just uh, go quickly back. Um, uh, um, from the top ranks of the 1900 Moscow Art Nouveau architecture, all of them suggest fresh approaches to every aspect of Art Nouveau. The wide breadth of uh, the architect's vision is reflected in this selection. It also includes a photographic cachet that plots their sides, and to look at those photographs is to make out the contour of an Art Nouveau world of Moscow. It is a triumph of artistic imagination and intellectual generosity. It takes us into the world of visual me uh, messages, all the more effective for being mute. It draws attention to the small group of architects that pressed in, uh, um, in around Art Nouveau variety, spurring a frenetic search for the visual and material aspects of the style. As those remarkable interiors make clear, the Moscow architects like uh, um, like Fyodor Schechtel, um, well, I'll dwell on, uh, on his um, uh, Rybushinsky house, um, um, and the uh, Kalmykov, uh, Goncharov, Eriksson, Gelrich, 
and Roman Klein, that's the uh, Muir and Mary Lee's department store, which is right now at Zoom in the center of Moscow. Um, Lev Kokoshev and many others want something more from Europe, but most clearly uh, from uh, um, Japan and uh, Neo-Russians and the Russian national art with uh, technical innovation, then technical innovation. They felt that uh, the, um, they discern an entire way of life, more passionate, more devoted to nature, more in line with their own nations of the consoling purpose of art in a world of suffering and justice and commercialism. In the interior, they subjected to such intense scrutiny. Art Nouveau had long been treated as a quintessentially European style, and it remains so, except that the astonishing increase of our knowledge of Byzantine and Japan had made us realize that the road leads to many other directions. Of course, Moscow was nowhere near Japan, a country very few Russian architects visited at the time. No, for, for that matter, did any of the advanced artists of their times who um, were in, uh, enthralled with Japanese art. Um, yes, like uh, um, Mikhail Vrubel and uh, um, Borisov Musatov, Konstantin Somov, uh, Karovin Golovin, Kuzma Petrov Vodkin. Um, for those artists, Japan meant primarily the world of depicted in Japanese woodblock prints, the Iklio or floating world images of the pleasure districts of great cities, or the colorful series of Hokusai and Hiroshige, or famous sites among well-traveled routes with Mount Fuji or a stylized watchfall in the distance. The renowned Moscow architect Fyodor of Franz Albert Schachtel first, uh, first bought such prints in uh, Paris and Germany and extended his collection in Glasgow, where he designed the Russian pavilion for the Universal Exhibition in 1901, but that's entirely in the um, neo-Russian style. Even though he was brought up in the German family of the Baltic settlement, he regarded himself Russian and often quote the Russian style as one of his main influences. For him, Japan remained an idealized world, not to be corrected by the perhaps banal realities. After Schechtel's death, in 1926, his architectural heritage counted over 60 structures, more than half of Art Nouveau style. Schechtel's once interest um, in uh, um, was the artistic heritage of the World of Arts group and his friendship with its leading exponents, the artist Mikhail Vrubel and Viktor Borisov Musatov. The mosaics in this uh, uh, Rybushinsky house is made by Vrubel and they collaborated on uh, uh, three other projects and for interiors and exteriors and I'll, uh, in a second I'll uh, show it to you. Like in the rest of World of Art circle that followed the European trends in art and architecture, Vrubel and Musatov took the new movement as a reaction against the slavish initiation of past style mass produced during the great, pa uh, great part of the 19th century and against the fashion for an excessive overloading of interiors with unnecessary furniture and ornaments, often of indifferent quality and design. The Art Nouveau was aimed to invent new forms, a truly revolutionary proposal for certain styles of a classical time, type that has been considered unchangeable to stimulate aesthetic sensibilities beyond the bounds of Everett formula and to encourage the conception and realization of an organic unity in design. Schechtel collaborated with Rubel on two important commissions. He recognized Rubel's architectural appreciation in choice of the wall and not a canvas uh, as his easel and material. As Schechtel confined in his theoretical work, a faith, uh, which he called the fairy tale of three sisters, paintings, architecture, and sculpture, um, he wrote it in 1918, and it remained unpublished, but he delivered it at the first uh, free state artistic studios in Moscow. Form and, I quote, form and color are canonical aspects of paintings, but um, equally used in architecture. Every construction frames the space. It directly answers the function, evenly distributing the harmony between inside and outside. He continued, when thinking spatially, architect gives an impression of freedom to the entire structure. He finds a vintage point that binds the architecture with a user needs. The success of Schechtel's interior, oh, sorry. Um, 
Bija um, pano be fresco is made by uh, Boris of Musatov, another collaborator of uh, Schachtel from the group of uh, Voldovart. The success of Schachtel's interior is also a result of the harmony between the interior architecture, the furniture, and the art used in its decoration. The predominant color of um, that's his portrait, sorry. No, Schachtel. The predominant color um, of the entrance hall in the Rybushinsky house is green, whilst the sitting room is in, ru uh, is in uh, rust. The color appears in all the different facets of the decoration, from the floor covering to the curtains, from the stained glass to the individual objects. The ceiling is cream white, speckled with tiny, pointy list frecks of brown. Um, one can feel that the whole house is imbued with nature, not only in the garden, visible from the windows, but also in the flowered nook of the veranda and the cabinet-sized piano. Um, I wonder if I have the piano. Well, but you will imagine that. <laughs> um, um, from the piano, which fills the ground floor with music. The central bow window uh, has been modeled with a delicacy and finesse for the cabinet maker. Um, this is one of the most beautiful and, um, and original building of the Moscow Novo style and was no, uh, no, no doubt inspired by the example of Victor Horta and it was completed in 1902. Another good example of Schechtel merging the inside and outside parts into the unison is the complete facade in the interior of the Yaroslav railway station in Moscow, commissioned by Sava Mamontov in the uh, early 1900s. The major undertaking is a clear indication of a new direction of Schechtel's work. His departure from an over-lyrical form is clearly shown. Interesting, yeah. A city at the peak of its industrial growth, Moscow was early set on building railway network. Sadly, Mamontov's cultural philanthropy was uh, not, to, uh, not to last. For in 1899, the impresario was arrested and tried for embezzling funds during the construction of the moscow Yaroslav Railway, for which Schechtel was an architect for the, and for the uh, true terminuses. If moments of demise sounded the death knell for various uh, cultural initiatives in Moscow and St. Petersburg, others hit full stride as the 20th century dawned. Leading the way was the Moscow Art Theatre, which has been con uh, conceived by the director Konstantin Stanislavsky and the critic and playwright Vladimir Nemirovich Danchenko. During a legendary 18 hours lunch that lasted from 2 o'clock in the afternoon on June 22nd, 1897, until 8 o'clock the next morning. It was the theater staging of works by Chekhov st starting with a seagull in 1898 that established its reputation as Russia's most innovative and risk-taking theatrical space. Adopting the seagull and its emblem, executed in the star in the in Art Nouveau uh, style, the company became the prime breeding ground for Stanislavsky's famous techniques, later known as uh, method acting which uh, required the total immersion of an actor in his or her role. In 1901, the leaders of the Moscow Art Theatre commissioned Fyodor Schechtel to undertake the complete restoration of an old theatre in, uh, um, in the heart of Moscow, next to the Kremlin. Um, they incorporated the latest lighting equipment and from 1902 became the sensational revolutionary stage in company's permanent home. The theatre's forward-looking aspirations were expressed by striking modernist Barilyev by the brilliant young sculptor Anna Galupkina, the top one of its stage designer. Um, with its state-of-the-art facilities starting raw in emotive performances and young audiences hungry for visual and dramatic stimulations, the Moscow Art Theatre left with uh, its other theatre companies in the shade. However, both Stanislavsky and Schechtel shared the characteristics of theatre in qualities. Um, the curves of the interior are gentle, and we see for the first time the decoration, which was to be typical of this late period. Much of the ornamental sculpture is replaced by floral and geometric motifs in rare inland woods, and repeated in horizontal or vertical strips in a carefully conceived rhythm. Um, 
Wherever this place to create dramatic contrast, dark light, wood, stone, furniture, hardware, he distinguished an architecture, um, Schachtel distinguished an architecture as one who loves art, who creates magic which gives a meaning to life. Um, Art Nouveau is uh, um, if, uh, modern, it was called, and named for modernity, novelty, innovation, and style, vision, and detail. But it was meant to please the eyes of the riches, and therefore Moscow architects were busy designing the lovely mansions in the heart of the city. It is often said that Schachtel's Art Nouveau interiors are hidden from the people. By the 1990s, however, it had become a pilgrimage site for the Russian and foreign audience, who knew of him from his inclusion of, uh, um, in the Glasgow art fair, but not uh, the legend of his life or reproductions of his work. Schechtels decorated the lifestyle of the richest, but died in poverty. Not long before he died, he sent his statement to Ivan Sitin, one of the richest persons in pre-revolutionary Russia and his patron, publisher in an art, pa um, in an art, uh, art pa patron. Um, the letter ended. I used to design for all the riches of Moscow, Morozov, Srebushinsky, Van Dervis, and ended up with nothing. Silly life, but pure. Thank you.